Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the paper effect in After Effects. It's Pelier today and let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is to import our footage in to our composition and I have already imported a music video here and uh, this is the name of the music video if you guys want to use the same video to edit to. And the first thing we're going to do before we start making the effect is to download a minimum of five paper textures from Google. After you have downloaded your paper textures you're going to be adding a adjustment layer so you're going to press Control alt y here we're going to add post rise time and for this paper effect i like to use eight as the frame rate i'm gonna set the mark on the effect to start i'm gonna cut the adjustment layer and from there we're going to be adding our paper textures just like that now i have added the paper textures to my composition and uh, now i'm going to rescale them and adjust them Okay, so now we're going to make each paper texture just be seen on one frame. If we start with the first one here, we're going to see when it switches frame there. Then we're going to cut this, cut the beginning as well. And what I like to do is to duplicate this paper texture, so Control D. And here we're going to set the paper texture above to overlay and the paper texture under to a lighter color or linear dodge then you're just going to continue with the next frame and you do the same process here on all the frames you want the effect to cover basically so now your effect is going to look something like this here and when you're done with adding frames you can cut the adjustment layer you added in the beginning to increase the difference between the frames a little bit more we're going to be adding a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and here we're going to add a transform you're going to drag this down to the first frame and here you can scale up a little bit rotate a small bit then ctrl d go to the next frame here you guys understand the progress adjust to your liking on each frame to make the difference bigger and this is what it looks like if you want to make an even more unique version you can add some colors to the frames so you can add four color gradient and here you maybe go with some blue color in the beginning here change the blending mode to hue and then the opacity to 75 so you get this kind of black and white colored effect then copy this to the next one they can adjust the color or if you wanna have the same on all the frames here. Pretty cool, I would say. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to check out our website, editingvisuals.com. Don't forget to join our Discord server, check out our Instagram, check out all our socials. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and uh, have a nice day.